हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट ठक्कर इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू सॉल्व अवर न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ फ्री कन्वेक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द न्यूमेरिकल अ स्फेरिकल हीटर ऑफ 20 सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर एंड 60 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इमर्स्ड इन अ टैंक ऑफ वाटर एट 20 डिग्री सेल्सियस सो द डायमीटर ऑफ द हीटर डायमीटर ऑफ स्फेरिकल हीटर इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर विच इज जीरो मीटर द सर्फेस टेम्परेचर सो दैट टी एस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस which is immersed into tank of water at 20 degree celsius so surrounding temperature of water is a t infinite is 20 degree celsius so from ts and t infinite we can easily calculate the mean temperature which is ts plus t infinite divided by 2 so that 40 degree celsius determine the value of convective heat transfer coefficient so that h is unknown for us the mean film temperature is 40 degree celsius we have just calculated the thermophysical properties of water so that the density prandtl number conductivity Value of beta. Here, value of beta is already given in question, and the viscosity, kinematic viscosity, is 0.659 into 10 is to minus 6 meter square per second. The relation between Nusselt, Grashof, and Prandtl, the correlation between Nusselt, Grashof, and Prandtl, is already given in question. So we need to find out value of h. So first, we know that we have to decide the characteristic dimension or characteristic length so in our question there is a spherical heater so for the spherical heater the characteristic length or characteristic dimension is its diameter which is given in question which is 0.2 meter now to use this correlation we required value of grashof and prandtl we know the value of prandtl is 4.34 so we have to find out value of grashof by equation beta g delta t lc cube divided by nu square we know the value of g 9.81 beta is already given in question delta t is a temperature difference which is 60 minus 20 characteristic dimension is diameter so that the 0.2 cube divided by kinematic viscosity which is 0.659 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square per second so by putting all the value we will get value of grashof number as 2.9 into 10 raised to 9 now we can use this correlation by putting value of grashof in prandtl in this equation we will get value of nusselt number which is 146.81 now we know that nusselt number is equal to hlc by k in our case characteristic dimension is diameter so that instead of lc we can write capital d in this equation only h is unknown we know the value of conductivity as well as diameter so by solving this equation we will get value of h convective heat transfer coefficient as 464.65 watt per meter square kelvin moving towards the next question a long horizontal pipe of 15 cm outside diameter so capital d is 15 cm passes through the large room the surface temperature of the pipe is 95 degree celsius so that ts is 95 degree celsius the surrounding air temperature is 25 degree celsius so that t infinite is 25 degree celsius work out the convective coefficient for the free convection use the correlation between nusselt grashof and prandtl this the value at the mean film temperature so that at 60 degree celsius so that at mean temperature ts plus t infinite divided by 2 would be 60 degree celsius so at 60 degree celsius the properties like specific heat conductivity viscosity kinematic viscosity as well as dynamic dynamic viscosity is already given in question so we need to find out convective coefficient so value of h is unknown for us to find out value of h first we need to find out value of nusselt number and to find out value of nusselt number we required value of grashof and prandtl we know the equation of grashof in this equation g is 9.81 beta is 1 upon t mean so here our mean temperature is 95 plus 25 divided by 2 so it is going to be 60 degree celsius but we have to put in kelvin so 60 plus 273 we will get 333 kelvin into delta t which is 95 minus 25 characteristic length so here our characteristic dimension is our di diameter which is 15 cm so that 0.15 cube because this is a horizontal pipe so for the horizontal pipe the characteristic dimension is diameter which is 15 cm divided by kinematic viscosity square which is 18.97 into 10 to the minus 6 square solving this value we will get grashof number is equal to 19463168.09 now to find out value of prandtl number we know the equation of prandtl number mu cp by k value of mu cp and k is already mentioned in question so solving this value 
we will get value of parental number as 0.69. Now, putting this value of Grashof in parental in this equation, we will get value of nacelt as 32.14. Now, we know that nacelt is equal to HLC by K. In our case, characteristic length is diameter. So, in this equation, we know the diameter, conductivity and value of nacelt number. So, only H is unknown, which is going to be 6.21 watt per meter square Kelvin. Moving towards the next question, assuming that a man can be represented by a cylinder of 30 centimeter in a diameter and 1.7 meter high with a surface temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Suppose there is a man which is considered to be a cylinder whose diameter is 30 centimeter, height is 1.7 meter and the surface temperature which is generally around 30 degrees Celsius. So, we have diameter, height, surface temperature and the surrounding air temperature is a 15 degree Celsius. Calculate the heat he would be lost while standing in a 36 kilometer per hour wind at 15 degree Celsius. This is a 15 degree Celsius. The velocity of air which is given as a 36 kilometer per hour. The relation of NUS between Nusselt and Reynolds and Prental is given is a 0 0.027 Reynolds raised to 0 0.805 and to parental raised to 1 by 3. The physical property of air at 20 degree Celsius. At 20 degree Celsius, the physical properties are mentioned as conductivity, parental number. This is a kinematic viscosity is already given in question. So, first we need to find out Grashof number. So, the value of Grashof number is beta g delta t L C Q. This is a nu square. So, we know the value of beta 1 upon t mean which is 1 upon 298 Kelvin. So, that is 0 0.0033 per Kelvin. G 9.81 delta t is 35 minus 15. Characteristic dimension is 1.75 because uh, the man is uh, standing in a vertical position. So, for the vertical position, the characteristic dimension is its height which is 1.7. So, 1.7 cube divided by kinematic viscosity square. The value of kinematic viscosity is 15.53 into 10 to minus 6 square. So, by solving this value, we will get value of Grashof number which is 1.46 into 10 to 10. Now, using this relation, we know the value of parental number as 0 0.707. <coughs> putting value of parental in Grashof in this equation, this is a Grashof. So, putting value of parental in, uh, parental in Grashof in this equation, we will get value of Nusselt which is Nusselt which is 261.08. Now, we know the equation of Nusselt number is HLC by K. Here our LC characteristic dimension is height which is 1.75. We know the value of conductivity which is 0 0.00259 and we know the value of Nusselt number. So, by putting the value, we will get value of convective heat transfer coefficient H as 3.9 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Now, from the value of H, we can easily calculate heat transfer rate by convection by HA delta T, where A is a surface area. So, for considering uh, cylinder geometry, the surface area would be pi dl. The diameter and the length of the cylinder is mentioned in question and delta T is a temperature difference. The uh, surface temperature of the cylinder or a man is 35 and the surrounding air temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. So, the heat transfer rate by convection <coughs> would be 129.37 watt. Here, this is a temperature 15 degrees Celsius. And here, instead of Reynolds, there is a Grashof number because whenever there is a forced convection, then there is a Reynolds number. When there is a free convection, instead of Reynolds, there is a uh, Grashof number. So, this is the heat transfer rate by convection mode. If we want to calculate the heat transfer by radiation mode, then we can also calculate by using this equation. We know the heat transfer rate by radiation can be easily calculated by sigma surface area into emissivity of body into T s raised to 4 minus T infinite raised to 4. So, value of sigma Stefan Boltzmann constant, we know value of Stefan Boltzmann constant 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8. Surface area, so that the pi dl, considering as a cylinder, so that the pi dl, the emissivity, which is uh, the human body emissivity, so nearly about 0.4. So, value of emissivity taken as a 0.4, T s raised to 4, surface temperature raised to 4 minus T infinite, surrounding temperature is 24. So, surrounding temperature 15 degree Celsius. So, that the 288 Kelvin. 
the surface temperature is 30 degree celsius so that the 30 plus 270 sorry 35 here this is a 35 and this is a 50 so that the 35 degree celsius so that the 308 kelvin raised to 4 so heat transfer rate by radiation mode is going to be 79.24 watt so the total heat transfer rate by convection plus radiation is going to be 208.61 watt so this is the second part of the numerical of the free convection that's it for today thank you so much